So the biggest difference between rendering in MicroStation and rendering in Open's Building Designer is how materials are managed. So there are two things to keep in mind. In Open Buildings Designer, materials can be assigned to each part. Now this is good because it means when you place an element in the model, a brick wall for instance, it already has a material assigned and looks like a brick wall in the model view. And if at some point you want to assign a different brick to all your brick walls, you can simply change the material assigned by the part. The second thing to remember is that if you are rendering a BIM model, you are most likely working with reference files. And we need to keep that in mind and control if the version of the material being used by the family part system is in the library, the referenced file, or the local file. Let's start by opening the family part editor. Note that I have parts that are stored in the delivered regional data set as well as the workspace, and also the current work set. You want to be careful about where you modify material assignments, since they will change materials on any model that points to that data set. This is one of the reasons I have copied so many of the parts I am using to the work set data set, because I want to change the materials for my project. Let's take a look at the wall components. Materials are stored in palettes, and these are typically stored in DGN libraries. Note that most of these materials come from the Bentley Delivered Materials libraries, but some come from a local library I have created within my work set. Let's say we want to change the paint color on the steel framing in the model. I'll select the steel family, which I have copied to my work set data set. Change the view to rendering properties. I can select all the parts, double click on one of them, and select a different palette such as metals, and select a new material such as weathered steel. I can immediately see the change in the model, and if I don't like that, I can try another material such as steel carbon. Now the one exception to this is curtain wall parts, which are handled a little differently. So perhaps the client wants painted frames for the doors and storefront that match their transit brand. I can select the various parts for the curtain wall frames and change the materials to one of the paint colors on the clear coat paint palette. But I will not immediately see the change in the model. In this case, I need to update the curtain wall definition. So to do that, I can activate each model, remember these are referenced, and select the Update Curtain Wall Definition tool, and then deactivate the reference. So, so far we have only used materials in the delivered Bentley libraries. These palettes do not need to be loaded in the local file. They will automatically be found in the library. Now this is the simplest approach but you may find you want to edit a library material or even create your own. For this, you do need to load or create a palette. So I'm going to open the material editor. Note that there are no palettes attached, yet all our materials are found in the libraries. Also be aware that we now have PBR materials in addition to the old legacy materials, and you still need to select the PBR icon to edit the PBR material. I have decided I want to customize the brick that I'm going to use on my model. So I will attach the project materials library where I have created some of my own materials. I will go to palette open and load the materials palette under the project materials DGM lab. Here I can select the brick material. Now here I could actually attach a different pattern map for instance. Perhaps I have an image of the actual brick I plan to use on my project. I'll select the pattern map icon. Here I can attach a different JPEG image. I will just use one from the delivered patterns library to demonstrate. Here I can also adjust the sizing of the image, but I will leave everything the same. Now in this dialog, there are other maps that can be attached to this material. 
such as normal, roughness, height, and ambient occlusion. That's a more advanced topic on PBR materials, but since I have them, I will go ahead and change them as well. Also note that this is where you could add a geometry map. This is a line pattern map that will be used when you turn on geometry maps on drawings. Now I can see the changes in the preview, but I do not immediately see them in the model since the model is referenced. Note also that the icon next to the brick has changed. It is indicating that this version of the material is local and does not match what is in the library. Open Buildings is configured to use library materials for referenced models. Therefore, the brick will show as the brick stored in the library. What I need to do is push this material back to the library. I can right click on the material and I have three options. Update the material from the library, copy the material to the library, or simply remove the local copy. We will copy it to the library. Now, to pick up the new library material, I need to force the reference to update. I could open the dialog and make some small change, such as turn locate on and off. And now the brick is using the new material. And one final tip. If you need to override the part assigned material on one item, perhaps you have one accent wall that needs to be a different color, you can still use the assigned material or attach material options from MicroStation and they will override the part assigned material. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.